In this video, I'll be annotating web content that's been saved to a Digo group. Uh, I'll be using highlighting and I'll be using comments as well. Comments being the primary collaborative tool in Digo. So let's start by opening our Digo group. UDAA Digo. And here's that document that we saved earlier. And so I'd like to highlight something maybe of interest here that's maybe students we want to have students collaborate on. So I'll do this and highlight. Now that highlighting will be visible by all to all members in the group. So we'd like to start a conversation regarding this particular highlighted content. And so I want to add a comment to which students can respond. Now normally, or often I should say, there's a right up in the, the upper left hand side of a highlight when, you, when, the, when the highlighting is moused over, there will be a pop-up uh, context menu here. It looks like a pen. It has a drop down and you can choose to add a comment there, but often it doesn't show up. So I'm going to show you another way to get to it. So let's go back to our group. I'm going to have to refresh in order to be able to see that comment or that highlight. And so this section here is what I highlighted. That's a new piece of um, a new posting in our group there. So what I'd like to do is add a sticky note. If you see it right here, right? And so what I want the note I want to add there is does this sound unfair? So I'm trying to initiate some sort of conversation. So I'll post that to the group. We'll come back to the web document and I'll refresh that real quick and we see my sticky note in there and you can see my comment. My comment was posted to the group. I'd actually prefer that it was posted. Okay, that's good. So now I can post another comment if I wanted. If I were logged in as a student here and I and I moused over that sticky note, I I would this would be the student, the student's box. So uh, the student would make some comment. Now, if the student left it private, then we wouldn't be able to see that comment. But if the student posts that comment to the group, then it's visible to all. And you see the, the number of sticky notes or the number of responses or comments are, are listed in the sticky note. It's now up to two. So students can continue to post their opinion on whether or not that's fair way this is set up here, this portion of the document, and they collaborate this way. Now it's possible also, there, there are two kinds of, of notes that one can have in Digo, uh, also called comments. The word comment and note are used interchangeably in Digo. So what we just placed on there was a kind of a static or a fixed comment. So I cannot move that comment around. It's, it's, it's there. See, I tried to grab it and move it, it wouldn't move. I could also add, if I wanted, to the document. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's get rid of that. I could also add a floating sticky note or a floating comment to the page. Right? And this is a I'm going to start it out private, and so let's call it a private floating sticky note. Comment. Okay, and post. And what we'll see, put this away, is we have this now a yellow sticky note up here that always opens up the comments when I float over it. If I can grab a hold of that, I'll be able to move it wherever I want. So let's move it over here. Now 
one thing that's interesting with these floating sticky, floating sticky notes is that oftentimes the box, the comment box, opens up uh, some distance away from the, the sticky note itself. If that happens and you're trying to move it, then while you're trying to get to it, you can't because every time you go back to it again, oh, I was able to get it that time. All right, the point was you just have to be careful about trying to be able to grab a hold of that sticky note. So what I've found often makes it easy is to just place the sticky note, the comment box, right over top the sticky note. And then you can reach the sticky note itself without having a far span that would cause the comment box to disappear again. So we can move this sticky note anywhere we want. And again, students will be able to see that. So now, all right, what do you think about this? Now I want this comment to be public, so I'm going to post it to the Digo group. So what's happening here is this comment, this is a private floating sticky note comment, is private. It's listed right there, so it will not be visible to the group, only to me. This comment that I'm creating now, I've assigned to the group, so it will be publicly visible. And you see my sticky note. See, there's happening, what I was saying. All right, so you got to move it close, grab a hold of it. So you, should, you would be able to see that there are now two comments in this sticky note and two in this sticky note. So using sticky notes in conjunction with highlighting gives us a way to have students collaborate. And if we go back to the Digo group again, and I'll refresh that, I can see each of these comments that are related to this, st this highlight. Okay, so we can add as many highlights as we want as we wanted. So if we wanted this one, I could highlight this. Uh, I did not get the, the context menu again, but that's okay. If I choose com, I did that again. If I choose, I want the drop down. So I don't really want to comment on the whole page. I want to comment on this highlighted section in particular. So since I didn't get that, that drop-down context again, then I'm going to have to come back to the group. I'll have to refresh so I can see what just happened. And this is the portion. Similarly, I believe. Let's look at this again. Similarly, yeah. This is the new highlight, so we can add a sticky note there another comment. Okay, post. We'll come back and I'll refresh. And there's my new comment right there. I could create another sticky note if I wanted to. A uh, floating sticky note, I should say. So these are kind of like s static sticky notes. They're not movable. These are floating sticky notes. So notice also that they were at the page level. When I come off of the toolbar, these comments, floating sticky note to this page, comments on the whole page. So uh, what we're doing here, this is not a comment on the whole page. This is a comment on only the highlighted area. <clears throat> this sticky note there is, a, is, is actually a sticky note on the whole page, but I can attach it to anywhere I'd like. So I'm going to leave it right here so everyone can find it when you log in. And that's it for this video.